Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build a dual coil rebuildable dripping atomizer. I've already made up my micro coils. If you need to know how to do that, I've made another video that shows how I made these. And I'm hoping that the ohms are going to read around 0.7 ohms. Okay, without uh, getting into any more detail, here's how you do it. This is a clone atomizer, so it might not be of the same quality as some of the brand names. And there are a few differences in them. But we're going to make this work. Start by installing both coils first. Leave them loose so I can adjust them as I progress with the build. Now these coils were made on a 1 8 inch mandrel. So after you install the wick, uh, the coils, you want to bend the two positive center post wires up out of the way so you can eas more easily adjust the coils. I'll stick the mandrel back through the coil and tighten up the negative post first. Now on your uh, better quality drippers you'll have uh, regular Phillips head screws rather than these little Allen wrenches or Allen head screws and the regular Phillips head screws or the flat head screws are a lot easier to tighten up and adjust while you're building it. So I've got uh, the one on this side tightened up. I'm going to turn this around, stick the mandrel in the coil, I'm going to tighten the other one up. Now you could use this technique for building with a silica wick or an echo wool, echo wool wick. Uh, I'm going to be using cotton. I prefer the cotton uh, because to me, for me, it's easier to uh, to build. Adjust your coils. You don't want your coils touching the post.
Okay. Now you want to recheck the tightness of these screws after you wiggle off these excess ends. Excess of the positive post. And I like using 28 gauge because it's a little bit easier to uh, manipulate, to wrap, and it's not as tough. It doesn't break as easily when you're adjusting the coils. Okay, you can see this now. I'll take the mandrel again. I'll adjust them a little bit more. Okay, well, let's see what kind of ohms we get here. That's uh, 0.68 ohms, almost 0.7. So that's pretty good. I like my sub my coils to be sub ohm. They vape pretty well. Now we're ready to install our cotton wicks. I'll show you how to do that. Start off with a cotton ball. Cotton balls are wound up, so just uh, try your best to get that outside wrap loose. And unwind the cotton ball. Now you don't need much cotton. You don't want it real tight up in the coils because it won't wick properly. And I'm going to make this one continuous piece of cotton, one continuous wick, and feed through both coils. You take the cotton, just twist it up between your fingers like so That's good for getting us started. Now let's go ahead and feed them through the feed this wick through the coils. So it ought to slide easily through there without binding up. And that's plenty of wick.
and so I don't have to drip juice in here quite as often I like to leave a little excess in here so I wrap it around Tuck it in under. Do the same with the other end of it. And there you have it. That's a 0.68 ohm <clears throat> dual coil RDA, rebuildable drip, dripping atomizer. Hope you enjoyed it. And if I can, I'll try to get a uh, video of how it vapes. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Vape on.